In a letter to the health minister, Metcalf Biekes Atonis, who represents Metro Tech Calibration Services, states that Wolfish Bay, Swakop Mund and Arandes have been under the lockdown for close to five months. The lawyers indicated that the economy in these towns have been consequently demolished with the closure of 90% of tourism businesses, restaurants and accommodation establishments. The COVID-19 pandemic was described as a rapid, toothless hyena which slabbers out of the mouth to drown the coastal economy as it only has a small mortality rate compared to HIV and AIDS. The regulations were further described as draconic and invasive, where rights such as freedom of movement, association, employment and education are being violated. It is also because of the regulations, the letter said, that residents from the three towns are being stigmatized by fellow Namibians. The lawyers referred to a specific incident whereby two people from Metrotech were locked up in their rooms at night as part of protocol when they went to Ludrets for work earlier this month. The lawyers deem this as an invasion of constitutional rights. Another point raised in the letter is about the trauma families are going through when death certificates of their loved ones are allegedly being changed from the real causes of death to COVID-19. The lawyers claim that these families are being stigmatized while false statistics appear to be generated for a hidden purpose. The lockdown measures under stage 3 of the state of emergency are expected to lapse on the 28th of August and the nation anticipates the president to make an announcement in that regard.